Hey guys, Ian here. I've been trying to decide for about the past year whether or not I was going to make this video for you guys and reveal to, to you where most of the products for Redline are made and you know why they're made there. We get a lot of our customers that tell us that they want this stuff made here and we're hearing that and we've done our best to try and bring our manufacturing back to the United States and put Americans back to work in manufacturing here in the US. But that's really, really difficult. We have have so many products today that are made in China and I wanted to make this video and just kind of share with you guys you know where the hurdles are in terms of bringing this manufacturing back here it's been a lot more difficult than I ever dreamed it would be trying to accomplish that and so since folks are requesting it I want to share with you guys where all of the problems lie not just for Redline but frankly for America in general this video is really not about being anti-Chinese. I know a lot of really good, hardworking people in China that I've known for 20 years in running this company. Uh, it's really about for us trying to uh, be pro-America and bring jobs back here in manufacturing. So if you'll give me 10 minutes of your time, I hope to share something with you guys. And, uh, you know, maybe you can learn something from this. And maybe I can help you and you can help me. We'll see. As an example in this video, we're going to use the ROT 3000. LD auto restoration rotisserie right there behind me. Uh, I tried initially to shoot this inside of our little showroom in here but it was just a terrible echo in there and I couldn't do that to you guys so I rolled it outside. So here's the deal. This is our best selling product here at Redline that basically keep the lights on for us. It sells the best, produces the most profit. We're selling this thing today as of January 2023 for $1,399 delivered to your door. Now it generally costs us around 200 bucks or so to freight ship that thing to you guys so it's safe to say that if we're buying it for somewhere in the range of 1200 bucks and we're selling it to you for 1400 we're pretty much breaking even at this point in the video, I want to ask you to put yourself in my shoes for just a moment here. Suppose that you've got that rotisserie, you're selling it to your customer for $1,200 before freight. Think about how much you think you need to buy that rotisserie for in order to make a profit. Bear in mind, you've got all of this overhead. You've got a commercial facility, you've got forklifts, forklift drivers, insurance advertising you got to pay the ocean freight to get that unit here you got to pay the 25 percent tariff to get it into the country which gets passed along to the customer what do you think you need to get that unit landed here at your facility in order to sell it how much do you need to pay for it to get it here is that number maybe a thousand dollars is it maybe eight hundred dollars whatever that number is that you've got in the back of your mind just keep that for a minute we're going to need it here later enter the US 3K. It's not by happenstance that this rotisserie behind me is red, white, and blue, or that it's labeled the US 3K. This is our first ever American-made rotisserie. We heard our calls from our customers that they wanted a USA-made option, and this is the very first one ever available. Here's where things get a little bit tricky concerning the business aspect of it all. You can have a look at this spreadsheet where we calculate right down to every nut and bolt what it is going to cost to build this rotisserie in materials. At the end of the day, you're looking at about $1,014 in materials, which did include about 200 bucks for a local powder coater to make it solid black. Now, if that cost for materials seems unreasonably high, let me explain for just a second. Notice here this great big piece of tubing that this entire masthead rotates about on that Chinese rotisserie. If we go have a look at over here on the American-made rotisserie, there's that same piece. That stuff right there is 3-inch diameter, 3 8 inch thick DOM tubing. Bell Steel in Pensacola, Florida quoted us $900 a stick for that stuff. Stuff. That equates to $3.75 an inch. That's why it's so expensive to manufacture here. Next came the hurdle of the actual manufacturing, the labor of it all. And we started getting quotes from local area manufacturers in the region to get this thing manufactured. And we actually only got two quotes, which were $3,142 in labor and $2,290 in labor. We reached out to probably another half a dozen large fab shops who unfortunately all said the same thing, that they couldn't even quote on a job as large as making an entire truckload of these things things because they simply didn't have the staff and couldn't get the staff to do it. 
So you're starting to kind of see the financial metrics of it all. You got $1,014 just in materials. You got $2,290 in labor. You still got to pay for the packaging to get it to you, the shipping to us, the shipping then to you. We think we can get one of these American-made rotisseries to your door for probably somewhere in the range of 3700 bucks. Do you remember back in the beginning of this video where I asked you to kind of guesstimate and get a dollar figure in your mind about what that Chinese rotisserie should cost to get it landed here to Redline? And I said maybe 800 bucks, maybe a thousand, whatever, something like that. And then we just talked about what it costs to manufacture that American-made rotisserie. And I said, I think I can get it to your door for around $3,700. If it's 3,700 bucks my cost to make it in the United States and get it to your door, how much do I have to retail that thing for? What do you think retail would be? Maybe 44.99, maybe 49.99? Can you imagine for just a moment here if we did not have an affordable import option at 13.99 and all we had was that American made option for $5,000? we would never sell any of them and everybody who works at redline would be in the unemployment line by friday so there you go we're kind of stuck right now manufacturing our products overseas and not necessarily just redline but frankly the entire united states of america so the big reason that i wanted to make this video was not just so much to spread awareness but to ask if you know someone who thinks that they could maybe make the us 3k rotisserie get it to redline's door fully assembled and powder coated for maybe 13 to 1400 bucks i figure in order for that thing to actually sell we've got to get it down to a price point to your door for $1,999. So maybe if I buy it for $1,400, I spend $200 bucks to ship it to you. I give 3% for credit card fees and then a little bit to advertising. Maybe I could make $300 on a $2,000 sale. So that's my hope. If you guys know someone that could get that thing manufactured for us, please let us know. I'm going to put a link down below in the description to the US3K where you can see it on our website and kind of get an idea of what we're trying to manufacture. I realize that I'm going to have folks down below in the comments who are going to say, well, Ian, you know, you're trying to do this the most expensive way possible. Uh, you know, you can save money here and you can save money there and things of that nature. I don't doubt that there are ways that I can save money in the manufacture of this thing, but I don't see that I'm going to get my cost down by 60 to 70 percent. Now, if somebody wants to berate me in the comments because they know a way to get this thing made for less, I would say to those folks, by all means, please put a link down below to the business or manufacturing plant, whatever, that will make that thing for $1,400. If one exists, I will take $100,000 worth of that rotisserie tomorrow, and I'm not kidding. If you feel like I've earned your subscribe, please click the subscribe button down below. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up icon as well to let YouTube know this is good content and not to let it just disappear into the abyss. If you guys got questions, by all means, ask them in the comments. I very commonly answer questions in the comments and I'm happy to interact with everybody in the comments. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Hope you learned something. Have a great afternoon. Y'all take care.